everybody. Gina DeLuca here. All right, today I'm doing another straight pour and I am using, once again, the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. Uh, I'm using Sapphire, or that's Deep Sapphire, and Amethyst. And my background color is Liquitex Basics Light Blue Violet. This is such a pretty color. And I thought that these would look really cool together. Hopefully it will be enough contrast. I contemplated lightening up this uh, blue violet a bit, but I decided to just keep it as is and see what happens. Because we experiment here. These paints are mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol and then thin to the proper consistency with my mixture of 90% water and 10% Floetrol, the proper consistency. When you drizzle the paint off of your stick, it disappears immediately into your cup, into the paint it's falling onto. It's not really making a mound. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards? If you've already seen this part, just fast forward about a minute and 15 seconds and we'll be to the painting. If you haven't seen them, what it is, what they are, there are 52 cards in total, 42 technique cards, each technique card has an associated YouTube video with a tutorial. There is a box that has a tip in it, a color palette, and these two boxes are meant to be used as a two color palette or as the basis of another color palette. There are also eight bonus color palette cards each one having five color palettes. Use all the colors, just use a few of the colors, just to give you some inspiration and ideas. And there you have it. So uh, these cards are available at my website, ginadeluca.net. First thing I'm gonna do is lay down my base coat you can see I already covered the edges because in a straight pour, at least with my version of a straight pour, the paint is pretty thin and can sometimes not stick all that well to the sides, particularly the corners. There is a bug in here and I hope my cats get to it before it gets to my painting. Bigsby, there's a sky raisin. <laughs> he just made a very tiny little meow. Okay, my base coat is down and now I'm gonna put the paint in the cup. And I'm going to do something a little different than I usually do in my straight pours. Usually I just do one layer of each color and let the chips fall where they may. This time I'm going to actually alternate the blue and the purple. I would, I'm not going to try to get them to blend together too much. And I want the colors to be dispersed a little more. Usually when I do one layer at a time, I'll get a big section of purple on one side and a section of blue on the other. I kind of want to try to get purple and blue across. Usually there will be um, the, I guess what people are calling pearl cells on one side and then the other side is more like, not quite a ring pour, but uh, has somewhat of that effect. So first I will put in my base color. I 
So that one I will do first. And then these colors I will alternate. All right, let's make a mess, shall we? Okay. Oh, looks like I got a nice little Fibonacci going that time. Like that little swirl. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna pop these bubbles. This technique does create a lot of bubbles. All right, let's stretch it out. Oh, let me get my corner catcher. I just use a piece of cardboard and that will help to uh, save the paint. Tilting slowly is very important. You don't want to whip it around. That is how you lose yourselves. Or your composition. Either way, it's not good. This is too big. size.
bring the paint back to center before changing direction. As you can see, you can almost make corners. If you are very mindful of the flow of your paint, the weight of your paint is going to be wherever it's moving the fastest. So right now, I can't point to it because I will drip. but it's just below my Fibonacci kind of, kind of looking like ET right now. Okay, this color has blended uh, more than I anticipated. What's interesting is the cells are much bigger than what usually appears. Usually you get those pearl cells. I haven't used these colors before, so it's new to me how these react. I'm just, I'm tilting because I want some of those pearl cells to pop up because they are usually Pretty fantastic color wise. The more you move them around, the more cells pop up. I do want to adjust this composition just a little bit, just a hair where I want my focal point sitting. Okay, I'm going to let this sit, do its thing. And I will bring you in for a close up back in a few. Okay, here it is. This camera has such a hard time picking up metallics, but let me see if I can get in there close and to show you the 3 d of these cells. Look at that, that is so cool. They still blended together. So I may have to try this again. 
with my usual pattern and see what that produces. But it is very sparkly. Very cool 3D effects going on. It is appearing a bit darker in the camera than it is in person. I don't know if I can adjust that or not. I don't think so. But there it is. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal and Venmo tip jars if you feel so inclined. Also, my Amazon store, if you enter through the link in the description box, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. And also in there is my website, ginadeluca.net, where you can find my art and my music and the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards for sale. And of course, last but certainly not least, Join our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. The link is in the description box. Post your masterpieces there, ask your questions, get some inspiration. Good times had by all. All right, that's it for me. My phone is about to die. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.